What's up everybody, it's Zeland. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna tell you guys a really cool story. One day, there was a man named Clodo. Clodo was a great guy. I mean, he got around. He made a lot of campfires. He met a lot of women. He had a ton of kids. And he was married to a woman. And he had kids with the woman. And one day, he went on a camping trip with his wife and his three kids. He actually had 28 kids, not three. I just pranked you. So, he was in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia with his 28 kids and his wife named Mary. One day, a bear came to their campsite and ate one of their kids. And this sucked because he loved his kids. And when little Bobby got eaten by the bear, him and Mary flipped out and they become very, very sad. Very sad. They lost one of their kids. Now they're down to only 27 kids. And in their mourning, they looked for something to find comfort in, right? Some sort of coping mechanism. First, him and Mary. Sorry, I already forgot his name. It was something dumb like Kodos, right? But sorry, that's besides the point. Him and Mary, they started doing drugs to get over the loss of their child. And drugs did not work out. Then, him and Mary started having sex every day, all day. And that didn't work out, because they just got tired of each other eventually. Then, they tried crapping on people, pooping on people's faces, and that was very inappropriate, very gross. Never do that, ever again, Clyde and Kodos, or whatever your name is. Or Mary. I don't remember how the story went. I already forgot the story. But bottom line, all of their coping mechanisms involved sin until they discovered Jesus. And this dude and Mary and their 27 kids pursued Jesus in their lives so that they could become happy again, and it worked. They followed the Bible, they started loving everybody instead of pooping on people, and then they were happy. They were a lovely family of 29 people, and they filled up the whole sanctuary every Sunday at church. The End Thanks for watching.